Hey, it's Libby here again with Woot Recruit, your go-to recruiting program for the high turnover industry, such as cleaning, lawn care, construction, <clears throat> roofing, you name it. Our service-based businesses are what we specialize in. We are the first ever recruitment program tailored exclusively for the service-based industry, turning recruiting into a growth engine. Stay tuned to transform your hiring. And today I wanna to talk about spring. Spring is only a couple weeks away. So we know that it's coming. We know it's a time of growth, uh, renewal, and it's just, our businesses will be bursting at the seams when spring arrives. So what I want to talk about is helping us prepare for spring. This happens every year. I don't care what industry you're in. We're coming out of winter and into spring. So whether you're construction, you're roofing, you're cleaning and it's spring cleaning or you're doing lawn care, spring clean, spring is the kickoff to many, many service-based industries. So what does that mean? That means every single service-based industry will be hiring full force right at the start of spring. So what can we do? First, I'm gonna go over some tips to help you prepare for them. First is anticipate the surge, right? We know it's coming. Spring brings a natural uptick in our business across many industries. So we know it's coming, so we need to prepare, which means being over-prepared. <laughs> um, we need to prepare for it so, so that we can anticipate. Anticipate the surge. We know it's coming, it happens every year, but right when we're in the middle of the chaos, we're like, why does this happen every year? And it's because we're not planning and being proactive. Number two is training takes time. Remember, new hires need time to learn the ropes. By starting early, you can give the team the runway they need to, to get up to speed, to be efficient, to be trained and do quality work. If we rush into it, that's when we hit chaos. Last minute, we don't want to turn revenue down. So we're hiring and we're doing a sorry job of training. We're just pushing them in, pushing them out. We're delivering a subpar service by doing this. So remember, training takes time. Allocate your training. If it takes me this many days to get someone up full speed, then how soon do I need to hire? And then how long does it take to interview? How long does it take to get somebody through the door? Work those numbers backwards. Avoid the last minute scramble. Number three. Avoiding the last minute scramble, well, it's just last minute. We know it's last minute. So the rush to hire, uh, we rush to hire when we realize someone quit. We realize the phones are ringing and we're booked out. So we, we have to avoid the last minute scramble. It's stressful and it often leads to less than ideal hiring situations. This is when we hire out of desperation. We hire anyone that fogs a mirror anyone that shows up to the interview. So we have to avoid those last minute scrambles. Again, prepare, prepare, prepare. Next one is capitalize on every opportunity, number four. So being overstaffed doesn't mean that you know, you're ready, it means you're being proactive. It means you're being proactive. So it allows you to capitalize on unexpected opportunities that maybe you wouldn't have taken right? When those phones ring up your marketing, I've seen uh, customers of Woot Recruit grow to revenues they've never seen before because we could staff the solving issue. So we should always be recruiting, not just when we need to, not just in spring, because not everyone shows up on time. Not every single person is an A player. Some people have quality issues, but capitalizing on every opportunity, if we're overstaffed, it means that we're being proactive and we're ready and we're prepared to take on anything that approaches us or even up our marketing so that we can take on those new accounts, those new customers. We can meet revenue goals that we've never seen before. And then quality customer experience is number five. It, it's quality, you're, you have the time to train properly so you can wow those customers. So ultimately, it really, really drives the customer experience when we're hiring good people, when we're not hiring out of desperation, when we're training them properly, we can really have a well-staffed team that is responsive and effective, that leaves the customer impressed 
and they'll be coming back for more and more and more. Because guess what? Rushing last minute, hiring anybody shows up, hiring during season. Now we should be hiring during season, but we should already be staffed. Hiring during season is just the continuation of always recruiting. But that rush, that chaos is what all of our competitors are doing. And then they're gonna deliver a subpar service. So if we do these things, we can get in front of them and deliver a wow customer experience that is brought to them by highly, highly trained and qualified employees that we did not rush through the process, that we just did not compromise on, and that we did not hire out of desperation. So what can we do to get our recruitment in line? What can we do to get ready? So you can start now. If you haven't started, start now. Uh, because spring is when it, 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 every single person in the hospitality and the service-based industry have a rush during spring. So every single day counts from now to then. And then you wanna um, possibly explore uh, hiring out of references, asking your current employees, do they know anybody using platforms like Indeed, using, um, you can use social media as well. And then also think about hiring a recruiting program, company or software. Uh, Root Recruit is one of those that you could hire as well. We're a recruiting program that is exclusively made to leverage your, uh, the applicant's time and not yours, costing you no time whatsoever, actually saving you time and money on your ad spend as well. So you wanna make sure that you are exploring every channel that you can. Highlight your culture. You wanna make sure you highlight your culture. Top talent is drawn to great workplaces. I did a video on manifesting and positive mindset when it comes to recruiting. Because if, if we're a business owner that's like, everybody sucks, nobody wants to work, all the applicants are crap. What does that say about your mindset? And what does that say about what we're attracting? So when we say great companies, look at those owners. They are so positive. They are so self-aware. And that reflects in their company and their culture and then the people that they attract. So highlight your culture. If you don't know what your culture is, this is vital. Every single book, I'm looking around because I got books over here, book that we read from every mentor, from every coach that we pay for consulting, tells us core values, core values, core values, mission statements, vision statements. And they're saying that, and I dismissed it too when I first started because I thought it was fluff and it didn't really mean anything. It was just words on a wall. But it is so detrimental to the success of your of attracting and retaining great staff is your culture and your culture is translated through those core values that mission and that vision so it it attracts great talent so make sure that your job ad reflects what makes your company a fantastic place to work for and i covered this in a wit recruit training uh, we called it the five core competencies and one of them was um that you have to have two great uh, competencies, but one of them was you have to have the ability to wow the customer, so wow customer experience, and the ability to um, attract and retain great staff, right? Every company has different core competencies. Typically we have about five, but those are the two that every single successful company needs to have. When I say a core competency, that means what are your competitors sitting in the office saying they wish they did like you? Like they're in the office, man, I wish we could, how do, how does organize it while wow, they're customers? Like, how do they do that? Like, how do they have 500 Google reviews? <laughs> um, so those are the things that your competitors are saying, sitting there, wish they did. Those are your part of your culture, like that core competency. Those are the things you do differently. And that is why it's a fantastic place to work. So highlight those in your job ad. And then the last tip is to streamline your process. So if you're not using Woot Recruit, you should. Um, but in my Woot Recruit customers, um, their process is already streamlined. So look at streamlining your process. Hiring can be cumbersome. It can take a lot of time. We can't, if we're paying a $20 an hour office admin or manager to manage the company, you know, they're gonna look at recruiting as almost a burden because when you're only recruiting when you need to, it's not part of their daily 
routine, their daily tasks, and this can weigh on them. And then maybe they don't take it seriously. Maybe they don't look forward to doing it. So if you streamline this process, it becomes more efficient, more effective, and you have to figure out how to leverage time from somewhere or something. And that's what Woot Recruit does. We save our customers tons and tons of time. So, you know, review some processes out there, some software, some systems, um, because we're all different and we're all made for, for different companies, just like with customers, different customers are attracted to different companies. Your vibe will attract your tribe saying, so streamline that process, whether you use a software, use an agency, use a recruiter, whatever it is, streamline it, organize it. It's got to be a highly efficient process. So, you know, spring is just around the corner. Uh, we want to make sure that your companies are ready to bloom in full force. So by getting your recruiting ready and you start now, you can ensure that you're prepared for the spring rush before your competitors are. Again, I'm Libby with Woot Recruit. We are the first ever recruiting program tailored exclusively for the service-based industry. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe below and share it with another business owner that may be struggling in that recruiting process.